Hey everybody, welcome back. And this is the diagnostic skills check for module one. Um, if you just got done watching the last video, uh, this is this is the last stuff in module one. And I was incorrect in the end of the other video, um, but that's okay. I don't really consider this to be specifically part of module one and it's mostly, well, it's completely arbitrary really. Anyway, convert array to object one. So we're gonna write a function, transform first and last, that takes in an array and returns an object with the first element of the array as the object's key, and two, the last element of the array as the key's value. <clears throat> okay, cool. So relatively simple problem we've got going on here. Uh, all they're telling us here is essentially um, don't hard code. You don't wanna say array at zero and array at uh, three because the array might be longer than four. Uh, so. Relatively simple idea here. We'll need a return object, so we'll say variable result is equal to an empty object. Then we're going to do this rather verbosely, but we're gonna say uh, key, variable key is equal to array at zero. And then we're gonna say variable value is equal to array at, and here's where we're gonna access the last index of the array, which is rather simple. We'll just say array dot length minus one. And by rather simple, I mean we've done this a bunch of times. It's not necessarily simple to come up with this the first time, uh, but once you've seen it, you should be able to recall it. The length of the array is gonna be one greater than the last index, so array.length minus one will give us the last index of any array, regardless of how long it is. And then we're going to say uh, result at the key is equal to our value. Then we'll return the result. So there it is, make an object. Identify the key as the first, identify the value as the last, assign those, and then return the result. And then we run our tests. Excellent work. So thanks for watching this video. It'll show up right here. Hope you're enjoying these, and we'll see you in the next one.